That has always been the number one fight that I've been asking for the last three years. Some respect for each other, we still have that rivalry. Famous MMA star Francis defied all odds after making a mockery out of the world heavyweight champion of boxing, Tyson Fury, in a pro boxing bout. Yes, we're living in a world where Francis outboxed the Gypsy King and made it look like a walk in the park. Despite of Francis dominating the fight, the judges still gave the split decision victory to Fury, making this a complete robbery. But the result doesn't change what we saw, and we saw Francis for the warrior he truly is. And this raises a question. What's next for the Predator? Who's he gonna prey on next? Well, if you were one to think that it's gonna be Tyson Fury in a rematch, well, you've completely got it wrong. Francis vs. Fury is not going to see the light of day anytime soon. Francis has already set his sights on a different opponent, and it's going to shock your world. So without further ado, let's take a deep dive into who Francis's next challenge is. The Cameroonian boxer really put himself up there with one of the top dogs in this scene after humiliating Tyson Fury in the ring. I mean, of course he's getting all the recognition. This guy really came with zero boxing experience and took out the best boxer in the scene. Now, that's something you don't see every day. The whole world started talking about Francis, and they had only one question in mind. What's next? Where does Francis go from this point on? Well, one thing I'll tell you right now, it's not a rematch with Fury, but what it is, is something that's going to leave you speechless. Francis's next opponent is the one and only, the bronze bomber Deontay Wilder. Yup, you heard that right. The Cameroonian boxer has had his eyes on Wilder for quite a while now, and that fight was something he knew was there for him down the line. Another epic heavyweight clash, and this one might be the best of them all. But if you think that's the craziest part, well, you got another thing coming at you, because this fight won't be in boxing, oh no, these two are going to meet each other in the octagon. Yep, you heard right. Francis versus Deontay Wilder in MMA. Just when you thought it couldn't get any bigger, it did. But it makes you wonder, why on earth would Wilder want to fight Francis in the octagon? I mean, Francis in boxing is already a force to be reckoned with, but in MMA, this guy is a monster. You put him in the ring, he's a machine, but in the cage, he's a viscous lion. Wilder really must have something planned in mind before going into this fight, because if not, it's going to be a long night for him. But the word is out there that Wilder has been training in MMA and specifically for Francis. Now that makes things interesting all of a sudden. We know Wilder trains hard. I mean, unlike Fury, he shows up with six-pack abs, and that's saying something about the guy. He's a machine in the gym, and if he's working specifically to take Francis down, it would be a mistake to count him out just yet. Wilder is the only guy we know apart from Francis who has made Fury kiss the canvas. I'm telling you, it's going to be a close one, guys. But the question still stands, why did Francis decide to take this fight? I mean, a rematch with Fury was the one to make. It's the one we all were expecting. Francis got robbed in his fight with the Gypsy King. Francis should be hungry for revenge. He won that fight. We all saw the MMA guy beat up the pro boxer. Fury snatched the victory from him. But Francis has no intention of running that one back. And let me tell you why. Tyson Fury is considered one of the best heavyweight boxers of all time. And for a reason. He's not just your average boxer. He's an indestructible force. Say what you want about the Francis fight. But on paper, Fury still won. He's still the undefeated champion. And don't forget one thing. Francis trained like he's never trained before for this fight. And not to mention, he had the best boxer of all time, Mike Tyson, as his coach. And having Iron Mike is exactly what you need when you're going up against a guy like Tyson Fury. Francis really gave his all in training and in the fight. Fury, on the other hand, you could say he was just using about 30% of his potential. That was not the Gypsy King we know. Fury was gassing out. This proves he didn't take this fight seriously. Well, just because a title isn't on the line doesn't mean that it's a kid's game now, and Tyson Fury learned that the hard way. He was at his worst. Francis was at his best, which is why we witnessed history. Francis, Francis knows that in a rematch, it's going to be a completely different story, because there's not a cat's chance in hell that the Gypsy King will take Francis lightly ever again. He's going to run that extra mile in the gym. He's going to make sure he's ready. Tyson Fury wants that rematch. It's the only way he can prove to the world that he's still the best out there. Because as of right now, the whole fight world is praising one name and one name only, Francis. And the Cameroonian boxer is smart enough to know that a rematch with Fury won't go his way. Even his coach, Mike Tyson, agrees. 
just take a look at what this boxing legend said about a rematch with Tyson Fury. The first match was a mental warfare. We broke Fury down before the match. It was easy work on the fight night. Rematch is going to be a whole different story because Fury will take it seriously now. Now, if Mike is saying something, I'd listen with both ears. He knows everything there is to know about boxing. So if he believes that the rematch won't be in Francis's favor, he's got to be right. That's why Francis is on a new path now. And we call that path wilder. He's going back to his roots. Back to MMA, because you got to keep in mind that what the Predator does best is MMA. That's what he's passionate about. Boxing was just a side hustle for him. But Francis going back to MMA does not mean the end of crossover fighting. Because Deontay Wilder now wants to hang around in the octagon. Hanging with Francis in the octagon may not be the wisest decision Wilder has made. But if he somehow manages to pull this off, Deontay Wilder will conquer the fight scene. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves. I mean, it's Francis we're talking about, realistically speaking. How much chance can we give Wilder here? I'd be surprised if he makes it past two rounds. Francis chose Wilder for a reason. He knows he can beat him. The Predator wiped the floor with Tyson Fury, the same guy who flatlined the Bronze Bomber. If Wilder got knocked out by Fury in boxing, you can only imagine what Francis is going to do to him in the octagon. Francis hits hard. And it's going to be even harder with those small gloves. That's something Wilder has never experienced. He's not used to the four-ounce gloves. One punch can knock your sparks out. Especially if it's the Predator throwing that punch, this Cameroonian fighter puts bad intentions behind his shots. Did you know that it's scientifically proven that Francis has the hardest hitting punch of all time? Yeah, things are not looking good for Wilder now, are they? It's not too late to back out from this fight. But from the looks of it, the Bronze Bomber is already locked in. In a recent interview when he was asked about a potential MMA fight with Francis, Wilder said, I know people will laugh at me, but I know what I've been doing behind closed doors. I know the work I put in. I have been knocking out guys in the octagon. I'll be his toughest test, and it's going to be a long night for him if he underestimates me. Either Wilder is delusional or he knows something we don't. This guy believes he has what it takes to give the Predator a run for his money in the octagon. Having this level of confidence might be the first step of Wilder pulling the biggest upset in the history of MMA. One thing I can promise you is that it's going to be an epic brawl. One that you can't afford to miss. Everyone is going to be tuning in to see how this one goes down. The boxing fans have already lost their minds and are gathering on social media to share their excitement. One of the fans wrote this one Twitter. Never thought we'd ever get this match. Glad it's finally happening. Yep, the fight of your dreams is close to seeing the light of day. Another fan tweeted, Francis is going to take him out in the first round. Well, we all saw that one coming, but if I were you, I would not underestimate Wilder. Guess we'll have to just wait and see how this one plays out. So there you have it. Fight World. That's all I have for you today. Make sure to like this video, comment, and share. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you next time. Until then, peace out.